Hey folks, improper chimney sweeping that doesn't remove all of the creosote and leave some on a little shelf can kill you. If your chimney sweep does not take your pipes apart and clean out your pipes, forget them. We're looking up the chimney. That's a little bit of shelf. I don't think I'm going to use that chimney sweep again. I'm going to clean all this out. Do it yourself. You want the job done right, you got to do it yourself. Okay, now what I'm putting through is a chimney sweeper thing that I bought, you know, years ago with my old stove. What I don't like about it is it's push button. I don't like that because I can't take those buttons apart. I don't have the strength. So I wind up with a rod like this one. I'm just pushing this up because it's on a rotary drill. But if you try doing a rotary drill with this, oh, that's starting to come out. Oh boy. Got even more stuff out. You saw that mess I got out. And there's still more. I've just bring this out. Gosh, I'm looking like a chimney sweep. Well, first of all, look at this stuff. See how it's in chunks and I wasn't getting a good draft, so I knew there was a problem. I had it chimney swept before the season. And at that time, I was thinking, I don't know if I'll use them again. Because I didn't hear the sweep. I was inside, and I didn't hear it come all the way down those pipes. Essentially, he swept the line. He gets up on top, and he swept the liner. You see, well, the liner comes to a shelf, and so a lot of the stuff that he got out just sat on that shelf. It hasn't been a real good draft this season. And I thought, what the heck is going on? Well, I'm going to get it fixed. But you know what? I really don't like that. I, this is one of the things about living rural. You have very few options. That's why you have to learn to do things yourself. Um, you have very few options because there's very few people around. This sort of hacks me off. I'm in my 64th year. Maybe, maybe if I live a normal lifespan, I have 20 years left but I might die in 10. Service people usually don't treat men this way. But boy, they take advantage of women. And even when I was a single woman, you know, before I ever got married, boy, and when I was young, I used to have that problem a lot of time with these men treating me like I was the village idiot. You go into a car dealership to buy a car, and they, they see you and think, ooh, we can... Of course, it didn't work out, or car repair. <sighs> I learned to do a lot of things on my own back then, too, to avoid these men taking advantage. Okay, here are the two things. The one on the right is the one that I normally use. The one on the left is the one I'm using right now. If your sweep did not remove your pipes and clean them out, I suggest you clean them out too. And check to see where your pipes attach to the chimney liner and see if you have a bunch of creosote sitting in a pile like I have from two years of using a professional chimney sweep who did not sweep all the way through the pipes that went inside and did not take them away to actually look into the wall to see that he was getting everything. Now here you're seeing a picture of when I cleaned it up. And uh, I'm still not done. You can still see Chris out around there. And I clean it up a little bit more thoroughly. And I'm still not done. I did eventually clean it completely thoroughly myself. Now I'm going to um, use the brush and rod method, not the rotary chimney sweeper method, simply because I don't have the strength to control those things when they're on the drill. If you've got the strength to use that, if you don't, a brush and rod method, but a flexible rod will do it just fine. The other thing I think everyone should always keep in their home 
is a um, fire extinguisher. I always keep fire extinguishers around, always, and get these, these ABC fire extinguishers. The other thing I keep at the cabin have for decades is Chimfex. I've never needed to use it. Thank God I've never had a chimney fire. But these are sticks, and essentially, if a chimney fire happens, you break them. It shows how you you start them, and you throw them on the fire, and it extinguishes it just like that. Puts it out immediately. This is a chimney fire that eventually burned the house down. Please don't you have a chimney fire. Had I not taken my pipes apart and finally looked to see what the heck's going on, I could have been having a chimney fire any time. Be careful. Bye-bye.